Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to solve a system of equations through the elimination method. So in your notebook, I would like you to put today's subtitle, which is Solving System Elimination Method. The elimination method is extremely easy to use, although there is quite a bit of manipulation involved. So the best way to learn about this method is to jump into an example right away. So I would like you to put an example and write down the following. Solve the system of 2x plus 5y equals 10 versus 3x plus 6y equals 12. Where will these two lines intersect each other? Now please bear with me as I intend to do this example twice. We'll be doing it once in a certain manner, and we'll be doing it again in another way. And by the time we're done, you're free to pick whichever way you feel more comfortable with. So basically, what I want you to do is split the page in half for doing it twice. Now, this technique is called the elimination method because one of the first things that we're going to have to do first is to eliminate one of the variables. Either the x or the y, the choice will be yours. So I'm going to choose to eliminate the x. So let's mark that down. Eliminate x and for the first time around I'm going to eliminate the x through addition. And you'll see in a few moments where the addition comes into play. Now here's the key to this method. To eliminate the x through addition, we need to somehow manipulate both rules so that the coefficient in front of the x for both rules will end up being the same number except that one of them will be negative and the other one will be positive. So if you take a look at the coefficients that are in front of the x's right now, you'll notice that one of them is a 2 and the other one is a 3. How can we manipulate both rules so that they end up with the same coefficient but with different signs? Well, here's one way of doing it. How about we turn both of them into their lowest common multiple, which is 6. Somehow, manipulate the 2x so that it becomes a 6x, and manipulate the 3x so that it becomes a negative 6x. Well, to do that is very easy. For the first rule, to turn the 2x into a 6x, all we have to do is multiply the entire rule by 3. And to show that, we write it like this. 3 multiplied by the entire rule. 2x plus 5y equals 10. And for the second rule, to transform the 3x into a 6x, we multiply that entire rule by 2. And it looks like the following. 2 multiplied by 3x plus 6x, oh, I'm sorry, 6y equals 12. But remember, we want it to be the same number, but with a different sign. So we have to multiply it not just by 2, but we have to multiply by minus 2. And when you do your distribution, you end up with the following. 6x plus 15y is equal to 30. And for the second rule, we have negative 6x, negative 12y equals negative 24. And here is where the addition comes into play. Once we have both of the rules 
set up in the following manner. What we do next is we add them together. And here's where the magic happens. 6x plus negative 6x will give me 0x. Fifteen y plus negative twelve y will give me three y. And finally, thirty plus negative twenty four will give me six. And the magic is that the x's end up disappearing because zero times x basically cancels out the x. So we are simply left with three y is equal to 6. Therefore, y is equal to 2. And this is the magic of the elimination method. We eliminate the x, thereby leaving behind just the y. And once you have the y value, to figure out the x, all you have to do is plug the y value into either of the original rules, and then isolate your x. So let's get that done. Let's just use the, uh, how about the first rule? The first rule being 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. So let's plug in the y. So we have 2x plus 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10. So that means that 2x is equal to 10 minus 10, which means 2x is equal to 0. That means the only thing that x can be is 0. So therefore, our solution to the system is 0 and 2. That means the two lines will intersect each other at the coordinate 0 and 2. Now, I promised you that we were going to do this question twice, going through another path. So, it's time to look at how we can do it in another way. So, separate your page in half. And let's do it again. So, same decisions as the first time around, which means I'm going to eliminate the x again. So, let's mark that down. I'm going to eliminate x, but this time I'm going to do it through subtraction. Now how does it work if we go through subtraction? Well, it's almost the same as through addition, which means to eliminate the x, we somehow have to manipulate both rules so that the x's will end up with the same coefficient. However, when we did it through addition, we also had to make sure that not only were, the same, uh, were they the same coefficients, we had to make sure that one was positive and the other one was negative. Well, for eliminating the x through subtraction, we have to make sure that they are the same coefficient, including having the same sign. So either both positive or both negative. So let's get that done. As with the example before through addition, the common coefficient between the 2 and the 3 is the 6. So for the first rule, I'm going to again multiply everything by 3. So 3 multiplied by 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. But the second rule, I'm simply going to multiply everything by 2. And that will cause the coefficient in front of the x to be completely identical, including the sign. That will give me 6x plus 15y is equal to 30. And for the second rule, 6x plus 12y is equal to 24. 
Now, here's the subtraction part. I'm going to put subtract over here and watch how the subtraction happens. 6x minus 6x is 0x. 15y minus 12y gives me 3y. And 30 minus 24 gives us 6. Take a look. The same magic happens. We have 3y is equal to 6. Therefore, y is equal to 2. And again, solving for the other variable, all you have to do is take the one you just found and plug it back into any of our original rules. So this time, I'm going to use, um, how about the second rule? The 3x plus 6y equals 12. So let's plug in the y value. So 3x plus 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Therefore, 3x is equal to 12 minus 12. 3x is equal to 0, therefore, x is equal to 0. And, as anticipated, we should get the exact same solution. And that's all there is to uh, the elimination method, through addition or through subtraction. Now, Big question is, which one do I prefer? Well, I'm pretty comfortable with algebra, so I have no problems with addition or subtraction. But I, most students tend to prefer the addition uh, way because in the subtraction way, there is one big danger. The danger occurs in this location when you're doing your subtraction. You have to consider the impact that the subtraction has on the signs of all the, of all the uh, coefficients in the second rule. So suppose that instead of positive 12, we had negative 12, then you have to consider that it's in fact subtract negative 12. If you're comfortable with dealing with that danger, then there is no advantage to using the addition over the subtraction. However, if you're the type of person who does have problems dealing with double negatives, then maybe the addition method might be easier for you. And that's all there is to what we call solving a system through the elimination method.